<laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hi, everybody, and welcome to G Live. We're here at Guarantee RV in Junction City, Oregon. Thanks for uh, having some patience with us. We've had some technical difficulties getting going, but uh, that's the world of Wi Fi, and uh, that's the technology we're limited to right now. So, uh, but today, we have with us our uh, van guy, yeah, as many of our YouTube uh, viewers know him as and watch his videos on a weekly basis. Uh, Gary, why don't you introduce yourself to uh, those of you that might not know you or how long you've been here. Uh, good day to everybody. Gary Christians. I started here July of 1981 and have specialized in the van since the early 80s. Went all the way through the Falcons, Horizons, the getaways and all, and we finally arrived in the road track era. And, uh, well, we have our specialists here today. We have this van behind us today. What is this van behind us? Uh, this is a Road Trek SS Agile SS, standing for Short Sprinter. It's a 19 and a half foot version. And I believe today we're going to focus in on some new stuff. Yeah, I mean, many of you know the Road Trek name, the brand. It's been around B vans, um, the, the B van industry forever. It's kind of the staple. Um, but today we're going to focus on technology and what technologies have innovated this, um, this class and what are we going to start with? Uh, let's start with batteries. Batteries, all yeah, right. Yeah, you know, you got the normal battery, you got the RV deep cycle battery, you got a bigger deep cycle RV group, you got AGM batteries, and now the new technology really is lithium batteries. And lithium batteries are so unbelievable. This right here, is a lithium battery. This is what I use. Uh, it's a backup on my Chevy Duramax truck. Jennifer. It will jump start a Chevy Duramax. This will also jump start 25 cars. It'll power your PC, it'll run your, uh, your phone. It, it does a lot of things. It's very small, very compact. I keep it in my truck. It's been in there for five months. It's charged up. It's an awesome, awesome piece of equipment. To, to go in line with that, Road Trek offers different uh, lithium groups. Uh, the lowest is a 200 series. But keep in mind the 200 series lithium battery is equivalent to six AGM batteries. So you're saving on a lot of space, you're saving on a lot of weight, which is a phenomenal thing. Uh, my wife and I visited the factory here last uh, year or so, talked with Jim Hamill, the CEO, and just asked point blank, so how long can you run a van on a lithium battery running like an air conditioner? And his answer was, if you add an 800 series, you can run an air conditioner off the inverter for about seven hours, which is phenomenal to think a battery off an inverter can run in a piece of equipment for that long a time. But, of course, on the downside, then you're going to run your battery down. And that's when they came up with Volt Start. Right. So let's talk about Volt Start so for a minute. That's brand new this year. For brand new this year. It's been introduced. This particular model that we have in uh, does have that. Uh, if you take a, a peek right in here, here's the, uh, here's the controllers for your system. Let's get our camera your system. around here. Jennifer? So she's actually on there, that there. So, so that's that, that one, the one Jennifer's looking on the dash is that, that's the activator switch. Now this is available on all their products, whether it's the Dodge Pro Ram, the Chevy, or the Mercedes Benz. And they have a little different location, but basically they're all up front. And by activating that switch, uh, you don't have to have your key in the ignition and when the uh, digital readout for your volt on your battery reaches about 11.2 it will automatically start your engine for 30 minutes and recharge your lithium battery and then it will shut off and it has five automatic restarts so let's just say you have your air conditioner going and for a reason well let's just say you have a, a pet inside or somebody just wants to sit here, they're not hooked up to electricity, and it will automatically start up with no key required, run for 30 minutes, charge your lithium battery, and shut back off. Uh, it, it's a very nice feature. Lithium batteries have a 
fantastic recycle time. And by starting the engine up, you're activating, of course, the, D the Mercedes engine. But more importantly, this is equipped with the underhood generator. And the underhood generator, it, what it does is it produces 12 volts and it goes directly into the battery, unlike the other systems that run through a power converter, changes over to 12 volts, and then charges your battery. So this is a much more efficient, it's like hooking a fire hose in to get it into the battery. It's a much, it up. much better way to uh, facilitate that. And of course, this comes with a minimum of a 2,500 watt inverter. It also has uh, solar panels up on top, and those are run 24 seven. Even if your disconnect switch is turned off inside, your solar panels charge in your battery, it runs directly into the battery. You've got a voltage readout inside, you know what, how many volts are on your battery, because it's displayed right here. Uh, so you can keep track of anything. But if you do activate the, the volt start and you're running the system, it will automatically start your engine with no key required. Your vehicle could be secured, locked up, and it'll just start off the engine. It's very quiet. And you yep. don't even have to be here for that, no. right? You could just be no. off. Turn the switch on, walk away, have it locked up. And when it reaches that area with about 11.2, it'll automatically start the engine, time out in 30 minutes and shut off and repeat as it's needed. It seems like, I mean, because with our service department and the RVers knowing them, it seems like the batteries and electrical is one of just their nemesis. And it seems like this would really solve a lot of issues for a lot of RVers out there that have battery issues constantly, low voltage issues, not, not knowing how, why things aren't being powered up. And this seems like it would just solve so many issues for a lot of people. With the, the lithium battery is the new future. It's, again, yeah. very small, very lightweight, very compact. Now, you have a 200 uh, lithium series which I mentioned is equivalent to six AGMs. This has a 400 lithium battery. Wow. Then you can jump up to an 800. Hold your heart, we're gonna to go to 1600, which is available on the XL, which is the extended body. So they have a myriad of different applications and they like to tailor it to what your needs are and they can accommodate that. It, it's just an option with the price tag attached yeah. to what you wanna do but you are able to do it, and it in a very efficient way. If, if you're a boondocker, somebody that's not hitting the parks along the way, I mean, this, you could essentially with the solar panels, the lithium batteries, and the volt start, do you ever need to plug in? No, you, you never, never need to plug in. I mean, other than emptying your tanks once in a while or filling them up, back up, you seem like you'd be set for... The only reason you're going to have to do it is replenish your supplies for, for uh, wastewater or to take on fresh water. Other than that, you can be out and about. You just have to make sure that you have some diesel left in right. your fuel tank because that's what the volt start's gonna rough, uh, run off of the underhood generator, which is operated off your engine. Right. But idle time on that, the consumption to diesel fuel is very minimal. Right. Even less than propane. Yeah, and you're not having to fill, pro you're not having to worry about propane and diesel, you can just fill the, the there, there's no propane on board, no worry about propane leaks, smells, or having a 10 gallon tank disappear because you left your generator on for eight hours because it was 95 degrees right. and it's real hot. So it's a, a much more efficient uh, way to go, a system that they've developed. Much cleaner too with the solar power on top coming in, charging your, keeping the batteries at a... The, the, they have different solar panel groups. Usually they're like 240 watt. You can get different panel groups and it comes with the size of the vehicle. If you get right. the XL, which is the longer 24 foot model, there's room for bigger panels up on top to, to be able to utilize the space. It's tough to see for our viewers because we can't get a camera up there obviously with the, no ladder here, but the, basically the roof of this thing is, is a large solar panel. Um, you're basically a moving solar plant, so. Uh, and um, Jennifer could probably see a little bit oh, of, yeah, of the front up area there. up there, uh, up on top. It does have a little wind dam uh, to deflect the, the, uh, the wind as you go down the road. Right. Oh. 
Oh, what, a, what a great way to set these vans up. For a lot of people that use these vans, they want to get out and explore. They don't want to have to stop and worry about plugging in or where their batteries are at. And it seems like Roadcheck really nailed it here with this package of the three, the solar, the volt, and the lithium batteries combined together. Well, most everybody is tending towards the lithium battery. The underhood gen generator is a proprietary through Roadtrek, so they're the one that's going to have that available. Looks like we have a question. I want to know if there's no propane on board, how does it heat? How do we get heat with no propane? We have a question from our, one of the viewers on our stream here. Well, we have a, a, an Aldi uh, for your hot water, and you also have hydrostatic heat inside that you can use that. Uh, they also do have a Walda system that runs off diesel, so there's a different there's different systems to do that. So you just yeah. have to make sure, because you can order that system either on propane, and if you check the box, it goes to diesel, which runs back off your main fuel tank. So you're running basically hydronic through hot, so you got instant hot water and instant heat throughout the whole coach. Tankless water heater, yep. yeah. So, yeah. is that? The all day system? All day. Well, what's the all that, day? Uh, that's a tankless uh, That's your water. tankless water heater, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, um, about wraps it up for our segment here, Gary. Is there anything okay. else you want to add that kind of just throws all these together? Or, I think we've covered a lot of stuff here and um, even went a little we've extra. We pretty much had a general overview on all the lithium package groups that are offered in different size vehicles, also different size uh, solar panels. Uh, there is a direct, and I open the compartment door, your uh, uh, control panel is right here for your solar panel. It's right behind that door, and it's real easy to get to to be able to see what is charging and discharging. Right. Well, and, and many of you viewers that tuned into our channel, you know Gary. You know he's going to be producing some great walkthrough videos for you, so stay tuned for that. Look forward for that. Uh, Gary, thank you for your time this morning. Absolutely. Thank you. You all have a good day. Okay. We're going to switch up here now. We're going to have uh, Terry, our general sales manager, come in. He's going to talk about some of the uh, things that are going on here around Guarantee. And uh, just give us a second. We're going to switch him up, get him a mic, and we'll be right back. Are we good for a sec? Where's Terry? <laughs> Thank you. All right, welcome back. And like I said before, we got Terry here with us. Terry's our general sales manager here at Guarantee RV. Uh, welcome to the show, Terry. It's your Thank first you time much. on the yep. stream, as yep, well as absolutely. mine. I'm filling in for Marshall. I'm about four feet shorter, so if you hadn't noticed, if you watched before. I had um, five feet then. <laughs> so, um, Terry, let's talk about Guarantee. What do we got going on here? We got, you know, we're, a, we're in this small town of Junction City, but we're, we're producing things and we're doing some big things here. Let's, let's tell the audience, kind of share what we're doing, what's big around here, what's going on okay. right now. Um, well, we're, we're kind of a company that's in a constant state of flux and change right now. Uh, we've spent the last three or four years kind of rebuilding the infrastructure of our corporation. Um, you know, for many years, manufacturing was the ultimate draw to Junction City. Of course, Guarantee was a big part of that. But we had, at one point, about 5,000 people employed directly in the manufacturing of, of new motorhomes here locally in our area. So it was always a big travel destination uh, for those people coming to the factories. Uh, we obviously got a lot of that spillover and benefited from it, um, you know, over the years. When that, when that all ended in 2008 and 2009, um, as a company, we compressed greatly from, from the size we once were. 
um, struggled to survive, made it through the downturn, and as we kind of relaunched our company and who we were and who we wanted to become, uh, we realized immediately that we were going to be without any manufacturing support locally and, and had to create our own draw. So um, it created a process where we looked at how we could bring people to Oregon, how we could be, begin to make Junction City more of a travel destination based on our ability to influence RVers and create sales and just the RV lifestyle. And uh, from that process, the first thing we did is we uh, made a major investment in our Chevrolet dealership, revamping our Chevrolet dealership. Um, and then the next step we did is we took a, um, a service center that we once operated that had some parts presence and completely reconfigured that building to where now we do all of our motorhome all of our motorhome reconditioning and service work is done there, and we've turned it into the first RV truck stop in America, and we call it the Guarantee Travel Center. So when customers come, uh, when they come to our dealership, the first thing that they'll experience is the Travel Center, uh, which is brand new. Um, it houses parts. We've got about 8,000 square foot parts center, which is massive. Um, we have a convenience store. Uh, we have hot, hot and cold food in the morning and the afternoon. Um, a rental center, a laundromat, and seasonally we have dog grooming on site and uh, we also can sell alcohol, beer and wine there. So we have wine tasting and quite a few of our local vendors kind of participate with us to bring out some of the products that they make, whether it be alcoholic beverages or foods, uh, different things, unique things that you might find here in the Junction City area or the Northwest. Um, we, do and that, have the, we do the seminars there too. We're gonna actually have absolutely. one tomorrow that we're gonna live stream from there as well. Um, those are great for our viewers just in general. You get the, you can come in and do this free seminar, um, have experts teach you. Tomorrow's subject is RV 101. Um, so those are, that's a great Absolutely. other benefit that we can invite people into that, into this environment and offer them some snacks, the wine tasting afterwards and, and have the, uh, educate just general yeah. RVers. Yeah, I think, you know, our, our main goal has ultimately been, uh, we, we employ between our Chevrolet and our RV center, almost 400 employees. So from an actual footprint, um, we probably are the largest single point dealership in America simply because of the campus that we operate and the amount of employees it takes to you know, handle all of our facilities. And I think one of the big unique differences with our dealership is that we've been in business for 50 years. We are constantly doing business with families and people that we've done business with over the years. And so we focus internally on making sure that we're doing the right things with our customers to retain those long-term purchase cycles, whether it's an automobile, an RV, whatever it is that we may be selling a partner or service. And then of course our, our focus for growth is trying to attract new people into our dealership. And, uh, we have about 50 salespeople that work for us. Um, but as a company, we are not a sales-driven organization. Uh, we feel that we're more of a service-driven organization and the sales are the byproduct of doing the right things. And so, you know, we're trying to create kind of our own little mall type of atmosphere where people can literally come here, browse, people can shop, people can come here and, and maybe get lunch, get breakfast. Um, they can come to a seminar. Uh, they can come and participate in our driving school that we do. Yeah. Um, there's so many things that are constantly going on around here that we try and be part of the lifestyle with our customers. All of us are avid outdoorsmen and RVers ourselves, and so we get it. Uh, the trials and the tribulations oh, yeah. that go with it. Right. Uh, my wife often says, how is it with 700 RVs in stock? When we go out camping, you get the worst one. Yeah. Um, I don't know why that happens, but that's just the way it works. Um, but you know, we're, we're built and, and designed for the long term. Um, we are literally in the process right now of breaking ground on our, on our RV park. Um, one of stuff. our big goals here has been uh, to try and create a place where people can come and do small rallies with their friends, uh, but also a place that we can take advantage of our dealership and the amount of people we have coming and going and be able to give them a, a quality place to stay. So it's going to be a 55 um, spot RV park. And at this point, we're in the final phases of permits and plan to break ground within the next 30 days. Um, optimistically, we feel like in the next 120 days, our RV park may be open for business. And so that'll be another massive asset that we're adding. Um, the reason we did the automobile retrofit first is because it was a two-part 
two-pronged approach. Uh, the Chevrolet sorting needed to be done first, and then immediately after that, we basically have torn down our auto service center and are building a state-of-the-art auto shop. Um, where that kind of applies to the RV center and makes that unique is we built a temporary building, um, a couple million dollar building that has 10 bays in it, which our auto shop is using now. Right. Uh, when that certain, the, the new shop is done, they will move out of that building and that will become 10 more service bays for us for RVs. And we are going to build what we feel is going to be the state-of-the-art collision center um, in the state of Oregon with some very large downdraft booths where we can start to do some major large RV repairs. And for the customer, you know, what we're trying to become is just more convenient. Um, I think for most RV dealerships, they're located in uh, more of a metro location. And so the luxury we have is that we've got a massive campus. We're all under one roof, and we literally can do everything there is to be done in an RV in one location. And I think our customers really value that. I think the relationship that we have with them, um, how we take care of our customers, and those types of things say a lot about who we are as an organization. But I think the fact that we're making these investments to try and make a better experience and a better dealership for our customers to do business with um, I think that's the part that every one of us feels is really kind of our special approach to the business and into our future. And it sets us apart. I mean, how many dealers can say they got an RV park in their backyard? And, Absolutely. And not just in any part of the country. I mean, we're talking about one of the, the most beautiful places in the country to RV. You got wineries within 20 miles of Absolutely. us. You got rivers, mountains, lakes. So not necessarily come here, see you know for us for a dealership, but come here and experience the Northwest lifestyle. Yeah. And it's right here. And oh, by the way, if you need something done or you need a part for your RV, everything's you know a five-minute walk from your RV at this, at this beautiful RV park that's about to be in our backyard. Yep, so. absolutely. And I think one of the things that you know really makes us different and really sets us apart, and this, this may seem very trivial and trite to people that, that don't understand what we did and why we did it, but when you look at businesses, it's a review world that we live in today. And so whether it's a, a new hair dryer or you know, a toothbrush or an automobile, people are looking out to find out how others have been treated, how the dealership holds up, how it stands up to its customers and its promises. And I think one of the things, unique things we did in our company at the very beginning, um, as we entered the review process and really got aggressive on making sure that we were in front of the public in all ways, um, as we want to be transparent. We want our customers to know the good, the bad, the ugly, the big picture of our organization. And so when we started our review process, we made sure that we didn't put everything under one roof. And so guarantee as a corporation or a company is not under one reviewed umbrella. Um, our service department has its own set of reviews. Our automobile center does. Our, tra our travel center does. Um, our RV centers do. And our entire company is broken down so that as an organization, each one of our departments are measured by their customers and the people they're doing business with. Right. People can see the transparency between the transactions of not only how well we did, but when we failed, how did we resolve the situation. And I think the part that gives everybody here the most amount of pride is that each one of our departments are above four as far as the feedback rating. We range between 4.3 and 4.9. Our travel center was rated five for about a year and yeah, a half. Was, it was the only five-star rated yeah. RV conglomerate we'd ever seen. People love the travel 4. center. 9, so um, anyway. We've we'll got to uh, pick up the pace. Quinn, do we have a question? Can you actually just pull it out of there? Ah, no problem. Yeah, no, they, they, they're, the, everybody that comes to the Travel Center, they love it, whether it's the new kitchen we put in, the food that they Absolutely. get served, or the parts, or the, just, the, just, the, just the, the employees that are in there. They're just great people to work with, and uh, yeah. I love going in there every day, just saying hi and seeing what's going on in there. And customers are, you know, kicking back on the couch or eating a burger or doing their laundry or, you know, just getting... Just being a part of the RV lifestyle right there yeah. in the Travel Center. So. And, you know, it's, it's no secret. Interstate 5 is about 10 miles that way. Yeah, it's And close. Uh, so the nice part is, is that there's this cute little horseshoe that kind of goes around I-5 that if you just turn left or right, you're going to come right down right I Highway 99 and come see us. And so, you know, selfishly what we're trying to do is try and become the attractant where people come see yeah. us. If it's propane, if it's 
you know, convenience store, if it's parts, service, whatever the case may be, you know, when they come here, we've literally got the ability to take care of anything and everything that a customer would need RV right. related. Oh, that's great. Well, that's about all the time we have, Terry. Very I really cool. appreciate Thank it. Yeah, Thank you for, for your time, time this yeah. morning, letting everybody know what's going on with Guarantee. Um, tune in next Friday, 9 a.m. We'll have another uh, live stream tomorrow morning. If you are curious about how our seminars work, it's an RV 101 seminar. We're going to host it right in our travel center that we've been talking about. So tune in tomorrow. That's uh, already an event scheduled on our YouTube channel that you can uh, look at and find us uh, there tomorrow. But thank you for tuning in today. Thanks for dealing with our little technical difficulties. And uh, we will see you next time from G Live at Guarantee RV in Junction City, Oregon. Come see us. Thanks.